This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Make your own website, shop, or gallery with Squarespace. How magic are they? How erasable are they? Obviously I'm a skeptic, but you know what? Let's find out in today's video. All right, let's see. In this pack, we have nine different colors. Oh, oh, we have nine different colors and our, I guess, magic eraser. But I'm curious how erasable is this magic eraser? In which order do I want to put these colors in? There we go. That's better. Honestly, I really do like this very warm and very cool combination of colors. So let's see what they look like. All right, so here is the tip of the marker. We do have one side, this little chunky guy, and on the other, a little bit more of a thin guy. Oh, wow, that is thin. Interesting. Ooh, this one's much lighter. More my vibe. Okay, that was not as purple as I was expecting. That's exactly what I was expecting. I could definitely see using some of these as the line work of an illustration, which would be very fun, colorful, and cute. Maybe something we can explore today. These are some great colors. Okay, so we've tested all of our colors. I am curious about how they layer, so I want to see what happens if we put another layer of color. And just like most markers, it does seem like it does have a little bit of a layering capacity if we want to get a slightly darker color somewhere without using a super darker color. Layering is always an option. Whoa, this one is, maybe it wasn't on its A game when I first used them. Okay, so we have swatched and second swatched all of our colors. It is time to put our magic eraser to the test because like I said, I'm very doubtful of its erasing abilities and you know, there's only one way to find out. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, okay. I'm just gonna, oh my God. And there's not even any color on the tip. Okay, fine. You know what? It may have been a while since I have used something like this. I don't know the magic they use, but oh, can it, okay, wait, can it destroy our second layer is the question. <gasps> there must be a very, what? There's gotta be a simple magic to this. Look, it's clean. There's not, not, not anything, not a single hint of color. Okay, fine, you know what? I'm blown away. What? What's happening with uh, with our teal? You can definitely see this weird like black residue. And it is a lot more apparent in the second layer. Obviously a lot of these, we got this one that you can see a little bit of residue, a little bit of residue here, where the second layer probably just gave it a little bit more to work with. But I'll be honest, I don't know what I was expecting, but I am impressed. But as usual, I do wanna do some, I don't know, other tests. We don't have our usual red, yellow, green, but let's see what happens if we do an overlapping circle with other colors. Okay. Oh, they overlap beautifully. No way. I love a good overlapping marker. I can't believe it. Oh my God, the pink and the teal look so good together. It creates a lovely purple. Oh my God, these are gonna be so fun to play with. I'm getting excited, wow. And then if we just, you can add shines, faces, erase if, you're, if your circle wasn't perfect. Ooh, how do they blend? That's another question. Let's just use the same colors and go between the three and see what happens. I don't hate these markers and I'm really looking forward to playing around with them. They're crazy. Let's do one last test. I'm going to test every single color overlapping. So here we go. This is probably one of the most boring tests, but I feel like it's useful when it comes to layering them. In today's illustrations, I do wanna do I think three different illustrations, but I do have to pick which colors I'm gonna work with. So I am going to choose um, maybe a line work for the dark blue. So these are our three color combinations. I, I still can't get over how well that erased. Okay, let's get into it. But before we get into it, I wanna give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the place for artists like me and you to go to make a website, make a gallery, make a shop, sell your stuff just show off your art if that's all you want to do. Why? Because I don't know how to make websites, y'all. I took a website designing course one time and it was not fun. That's why Squarespace is here. Pick one of their award-winning designed templates and you know what? If you want to edit it, 
you can. Make adjustments, make it yours, make it unique, make it you. It's super easy and if you still have issues, they of course have 24 seven email support. If you have an issue in the middle of the night, they're there. Look, we all know you've been putting off making your own portfolio website for a very long time. Now's your chance. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Casey Golden. Why? To save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, of course. With all that being said, let's get started on our first illustration. I think I'm feeling blobs could definitely be the perfect warm up. They left the screen. Okay, we're back. Oh, and I guess I need paper. Oh, I guess I need to zoom out too. Okay, now, now we're ready. Okay, y'all know how blobs go. We're just gonna make random, well, I say shapes, but I'm definitely going to keep character design in mind when doing these blobs. So I don't know if it's blobs. Yeah, I'm already adding shading because I can already see this is gonna be a bunny that I wanna make this ear dark. Oh, what if I didn't make a bunny? What if I made it something else? Who knows? Oh my God, it's so tiny. Wait, we need legs. This is advanced blobs. Intentional blobs, if you will. <laughs> blobs made with intentions of creating a character, obviously. Let's make a long one. I have no idea what that was. And then something over here that's like, huh? Let's give it like something coming off here. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. And then, oh my God, it could be. Oh my God, I'm seeing, I'm seeing it. Whatever it is, I'm seeing it. He's so lanky. Oh my God, I love that guy. Okay, are these blobs sort of? Yes, yes and no. Ooh, you know what we can do? We can use our magic eraser to start adding details like eyeballs. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's so cool. I need to Google what this is. I feel like it's the most simple process. Everyone gets eyes because I'm just so impressed with this marker that I want to use it. And that's it. All right, let's bust out a marker and get to adding some details to these guys. Oh my goodness. What if he's an artist? He's holding a pencil. Let's do it. I can't get over the eyes popping. That's great. All right, I started this guy. Let's finish him. Wait, what if I, what if we gave him socks? Little rabbit socks. Wait, can I put pink cheeks on them? <gasps> Why not, right? Aw. I like the idea of having a little bit of every color on each of these blobs. So that's definitely something that I wanna make sure I keep doing. Now, what about this weird elephant thing? Absolutely, this is a weird looking creature. Oh no, maybe it's sick. Maybe this is whatever this creature's illness is. Weird, weird blue spots. No, oh, oh, poor little guy. Okay. <laughs> Well, there's that guy. Let's make him hairy. I want to make him hairy. And there he is, our very dumb looking cat dog creature. Oh my God, I want to do this bird. Immediately give it a butt. I think he just needs a few feathers on his head, even though there's like no coloring there. Oh, I think he just needed something. He's super cute. Oh, right. We still have this weird like hot dog creature. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, he's so angry. I think he needs teeth. Let's go ahead and use that magic marker again. That's a, is it just me or is that a low mouth? We'll make it work, we'll make it work. Does he have back legs? <gasps> what if he's just a hot dog? What if he's literally? <laughs> wow, that, things that should have never happened, that. That should have never happened. That is cursed. Oh, hey, I actually forgot to color the other colors on the guys. Let's add a little blushing to this guy. A little cheek for this guy. Oh, we got a, yep, exactly. Wait, maybe he's like turning into a hot dog and so it's like all miscolored and magical and weird looking. Wow, beautiful. Ooh, we still have to add blue. Maybe some more spots. What have I done? What is this abomination? What have I done? Let's give it some like tiger stripes and you won't know what animal this is ever. It'll always be confusing. Oh my gosh, I thought I would be cute and add the blue to the shading, but wow, that is bright. Oh my goodness. Okay, these guys are silly. Uh, I had fun with these. 
let's move on to our next challenge, which is going to be using these colors to create an illustration, just a normal illustration, not blobs. We are warmed up and we're going to line it with a pen. I'm kind of feeling something like a frog. I don't, hmm, where do I want to start? Okay, maybe a frog. Nope, I don't like it. I don't like it. Ooh, what if I did something with a gradient? Gradient in the colors could be a fun challenge. What am I doing? Okay, much better and cleaner. What about obviously a cute cat character? And it has a pet frog. That's cute, right? I mean, we'll see. Oh my God. <laughs> This is the best worst drawing of a frog I've ever done. Okay, don't know what that look is, but he's silly. <laughs> okay, he a thicky, he a thicky, sure. No, 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 no. Wait, what if? Uh. Okay, here's the thing. I made his arms way too big. I want it to be like a child. <laughs> Where's his little butt gonna be? Uh. I don't know what this drawing is, but it's cute. So I'm okay with it. So I actually feel like making this a black cat because I really want to put a lot of inking texture. So I'm going to ink the cat and basically get to scribbling. Short kitty tail. Short kitty tail because I ran out of room. <laughs> You know what? That's actually really cute. I've been really enjoying coloring things in black and adding some texture when I really want to. And I always think it turns out really cute. He looks, he looks a little fluffy. Now I did a little test. The markers do okay over the pens as long as I don't go to, I say as it literally just smudged. I did a test and it didn't smudge as long as I didn't do more than a couple of strokes, but oh boy, now I'm scared. <laughs> I should have just colored it and then inked it. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh God, no, why is it bleeding? <laughs> no, I didn't. I did a test. All right, I'm gonna use the blue to shade our frog. Add a few more spots just to add some subtle texture. And you know what? That'll help with the smudged E. Ooh, let's color the cat's eye blue on the inside. And then we'll do as much of a gradient between that and the green. Oh. <gasps> when I'm done doing that, I completely forgot I can ugh, erase some shininess in the eye. These markers are actually pretty fun to play with. Well, you know what? I want to use the very small tip and give this kitty a pink striped shirt. Cute. Okay. Oh, should we do a pink nose? I can always erase it if I don't like it. Oh, I like the pink nose. I keep gasping. We gotta give this little guy some blushes, huh? A little blush here. Oh my goodness, I love these two. They're adorable. Okay, I did want to do a gradient. I think I'll do red to blue to green. I think that could actually work. There's a me right on the bottom so the frog won't blend in. Uh, that was the only reason I had. The little green froggy looks so good surrounded in red. It really pops and everything's so bright and colorful. Okay, this is where gradients get really tricky obviously when you start uh, blending them so i want to start with blue up here okay i see these are going to be very hard to blend so i'm just going to do the thing where i really embrace the chunky gradient i like to call it it's how i gradient poscas and other things that are basically just hard for me to uh hard for me personally to um gradient so i just sort of embrace a chunky liney styled gradient basically oh no my blue's getting i guess infected no it's getting what's the word uh contaminated <laughs> my blue is getting contaminated by the pink okay i mean it's still it's chunky but it's still fun okay now that we've done our pink to blue it is time to do our blue to green 
Here we go. Ooh, this one's gonna be hard to gradient because this green has no effect on that blue. Okay, wow. Little first chunk. I really like the way that looks. This is kind of, ah, it's just so insane. There is one last thing I do wanna add. I'm just enjoying all of these layering colors. I wanted to add like a symbol or something. Maybe the cat's actually scared of the frog. I just wanted to put, oh, you know what I wanna do? I wanna do, I wanna do this. And then this, and then this. Should I do a third one? Okay, I'm doing it. I just love the way these colors overlap each other. It's just pretty great. Okay, I think that is officially it for this one. Probably the brightest one that will be. Let's do our third and final one. And the challenge is going to be using the marker for the line work instead of bringing in the pen. So no more pens. This is definitely going to be a very soft and fluffy, I think, drawing, because there's not going to be any very hard, hard edges with pens. So good luck to me. I don't know why. I'm thinking alligator. I'm thinking, I'm thinking alligator. Um. <laughs> Wait, I actually don't know what this is. Um, is this like an alligator dog? Did I not just draw an alligator dog recently? Maybe it was just a dog that sort of looked like an alligator. Maybe just one eye. Maybe we'll just do one eye. Do we give them ears? Are they ears or are they spikes? Or is it actually a chicken? Because that looks all... <laughs> Looks like a chicken with a dog head growing on the back of it. Maybe he has a friend. Does he have a friend? Like a mouse friend? Okay, that is... Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not okay. Okay, is that a mouse? What is this now? I don't know what this is. It's a weird mouse, I guess. I have to really depend on just this pink color and this green color. And do not touch, I think, our line color until I really, really, really need to start adding details. So, uh, here we go. Oh my God, I'm nervous. And now it's time for my favorite part, just coloring in. Oh boy. Coloring things in with marker just stresses me out because I don't like when you can see all the streaks. And I feel like with these markers, I can always see my streaks. I don't know if it's a me thing because I don't know how to use markers or if it's a marker thing, but Either way. I wonder if working in circles would be any better. I mean, I guess it's a little less distracting, but you don't get to have that like one single pass through. So it does, I think, end up a little bit darker because you're sort of flowing all over the place. I'm going to make it a little dark around the eyeball just to add some dimension here. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna go, but uh, here we go. It just looks like a patch of new color. It doesn't even, <laughs> I feel like I have to color over the whole thing again just to make it all even. Oh geez. I mean, you definitely, I think, notice those chunks less, but now the whole dog is just so, so dark, which is a lot. I hope it doesn't compete with our line work that we end up adding. Okay, well now he is very dark. Um, so there's that. <laughs> what color is this guy gonna be? What? White? And he could be white, I suppose. I think I've put too much moisture on this page because it's getting very, very warped. We're gonna do pink eyes and then we'll add line work to it and it'll, it'll fill it in. I hope, maybe, we'll see, hopefully. <laughs> okay, I also want to make the spikes on the alligator dog a mix of pink and green. So we'll see how that goes. I think it'll make a nice purpley something or other. <laughs> Should I have added pink over here too? I'm kind of scared. I also don't want to contaminate my pee. Oh, it's getting contaminated. That's okay. Back with the pink. We are completely ruining this pink. It is completely contaminated. But look at that gradient, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> that is also very dark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think I got a little out of hand. Oh no. I think that's it. I think it's time to actually start lining it. Add some more texture around the eye. The eye is just, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. 
what even like anime style is this? Like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. This doesn't even look like an eye at this point. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Uh, I could try to blend it by once again, destroying our poor pink. There we go. <gasps> Quick. Yes, this is the color I want. Yes, blend a little a little that spread out a lot more than I was hoping it would I was gonna show off the pink eyes and then it just sort of got consumed he's like all head no body and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit oh okay wow that is a bright blue moving on to our I almost said dinosaur dog nope it's an alligator dog I mean, he looks so chunky and cute I want one even though his eyes freaking me out should I even go farther and gradient this, oh goodness, line work? Make it even darker. I cannot unsee a bird head. Oh gosh, oh gosh, it's cursed. Okay, I wanna add a few details. For one, I'm gonna add some white details to our alligator dog. Oh my God, the amount of time it takes for it to show up. I'm like, where did I last draw something? I don't even know. Oh my God, I love this texture. And I also wanted to add some dark blue texture. Wow, I really like the texture on that actually. Huh, I'm gonna add a little bit on the mouth. I think I'm just gonna leave the mouse plain and should I add a little shading on the eyeball? Oh boy, this is going to be risky. Oh God, he's gonna have pink eye. I have the ability to erase it, but I kind of don't want to. Well, anyway, I think that is it for this guy. This was actually really fun using a really dark, bright, colorful color to line our piece. I think it turned out really good. Once again, thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and a huge thank you to you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.